One of my closest friends from college had asked me to be her bridesmaid and during the mandatory bridesmaid meeting, she warned us not to show up at her wedding looking like a bunch of coked out She meant wearing natural makeup. What? Okay, I won't show up to your wedding looking like a bunch of coked out like, what does that mean? She meant wearing natural makeup as in like, wear natural makeup? Or does wearing natural makeup make you look like a coked out? No, she wants you wearing natural makeup, right? I don't know what makeup makes someone look like that. My cousin made her bridal party, which included my kids. Pose for pictures in the pouring rain. She and the groom were the only ones with umbrellas. As a bridesmaid, like, I would do it for you because I love you and I guess I would feel obligated as a bridesmaid, but it makes no sense that you would be under umbrellas while everyone else just gets freaking drenched. Like just find another place for photos. You have to think about rain. Like everyone needs a plan B for weddings because of rain, especially if it's outside. I was maid of honor at my friend's wedding and she originally wanted to have the wedding on the same day as my brother's wedding. So I politely told her that as much as I loved her, I could not be there. Well, she called me a few weeks later and said, since I couldn't have my wedding when I wanted to because of you, I decided to have it on your birthday. Happy birthday. First of all, I didn't tell you not to have your wedding. Like she literally said, I just can't be there because obviously my brother blood is having his wedding that day. I love you. I'm sorry. I gotta be there. I didn't tell you to reschedule your entire wedding. And then on your, thank you. That's such a nice birthday gift. What is going on you guys? Welcome or welcome back. Thanks for hanging out with me on the internet. I just like to look at things and talk a lot of smack. Have a good laugh. You know what I'm saying? Today we are checking out some brides who act like Karen's. Part two, because there's a lot of Karens out there and we all know that they become bridezillas on their special day. The bride was goth, so she insisted on having her wedding as close to Halloween as possible. Okay, I actually think that's so fun. Which is fine, except that she expected all of her bridesmaids to learn calligraphy and handwrite all of her invitations. We even got hand cramps and burns on our fingers from having to seal them with hot wax. That just seems like so much unnecessary work. Like you can literally, like if I was the bridesmaid, I would be like, girls, Let's all just pitch in and let's pay someone to professionally do this for us. That's a lot to ask. Yeah, like I totally get you want to theme your wedding, but online baby, go to Staples, print it off. I don't know one person who's ever like handmade their wedding invitations. <laughs> I live in Texas and the rest of the bridal party lived in Michigan. Well, the bride was upset that I was too tan next to her and the other bridesmaids, so everyone was required to get spray tans to match. I mean, I understand like in photos it might look a little weird if someone's like super tan, but like at the same time, who cares? Someone could just go on vacation before your wedding and get really freaking tanned. I don't know, I don't know. Cause spray tans, first of all, do not settle nicely on everyone. That's a risk you're taking. Cause some girls turn out orange, some turn out blotchy, even when you get them professionally done. Three months before my high school best friend's wedding, I ended up in a coma for three and a half weeks and underwent emergency open heart surgery. That's a lot to take in. This video is not meant to be this serious. Well, after I got out of the hospital, I told my friend that I wouldn't be able to stand in her wedding, but that I would try to still attend. She responded that she was disappointed God hadn't healed me by then and said that I must not have had enough faith. Go to hell. That's what I would say. I'd say you can go to hell. You want to talk to me about God and faith? Well, God shun her to the gates of hell because what the f I don't think it's the faith. You can be disappointed in God then for having healed me, but trust me, I'm sure she is equally as disappointed that God did not heal her in time. Trust me. I was in a wedding in which the bride and bridesmaids all had matching dresses. Well, the bride, who was much larger than I am, demanded that my dress be altered to fit her so that the tag on her dress would say my smaller size instead of hers. Who cares? I'm so confused. Who is looking at the tags and the sizes of the dress? Everyone's body is different. I feel like when you put a group of like whatever, seven or eight, whatever bridesmaids, brides, no, everyone's body is gonna be different, different sizes, different shapes. Like, huh? What? Is this what weddings are like? I don't wanna be in one. 
I couldn't attend my friend's last minute destination wedding because I had to travel to visit my dad who was dying of cancer. I'm so sorry. To handle hospice arrangements. She was pissed and tried to guilt trip me because I couldn't afford both plane flights. That was the end of our friendship. As it should be. Absolutely. Well, that was a good call on your end because that is not a friend. Listen, I understand wedding days are super important. Absolutely. But nothing is more important than family and your parents and possibly the loss of a parent and the suffering of a parent. Even if like someone was like, oh, I'll pay for your flight. It's like, that's a very difficult time I'm going through. I'm not really worried about like a flight to your wedding. I think I have bigger things to be worried about here. The bride stopped talking to me immediately after her wedding because I had a terrible cold the day of her wedding and had to go rest in my room halfway through setting up her wedding decorations, which we bridesmaids made without her help. I mean, I don't think that's something to like stop talking to someone over. Like, oh, friendship's over. You had a cold on my wedding day and you had to take some time to go rest in the room because you felt like absolute garbage. Like, is it worth ruining your friendship over? Probably not. Like, I understand you're upset because you want them a part of your wedding, but I'm sure they don't want to feel that crappy. I was a maid of honor for my brother's wedding in which he and his bride told me they had hired a professional photographer for the wedding. So I went above and beyond to make myself up for the photos only to find out that they hadn't actually hired a photographer. They expected me to take all the wedding photos. I'm sorry, what? As the maid of honor, I'm, sh I'm playing the photographer too? Oh, I would not want to do that. Cause number one, I don't want the pressure of taking someone's wedding photos. Cause those are everything. Two, I want to be in the pictures with you. You know, and three, I'm not a freaking photographer. What do you mean? What do you mean? This is crazy talk. My wife's best friend is a florist and she gifted her services to my friend's wedding. Well, afterward, the bride and her mom got pissy at her because she didn't give them an additional gift. Conveniently forget the $1,000 in floral products she gifted to the wedding. It's a rift that has never been healed. The flowers are a gift. Like, first of all, I can only imagine what flowers cost on the day of a wedding. Cause I go to weddings and damn, there's flowers everywhere. There is more flowers than guests. Okay. So that is your gift. That is their work, that is their money, that is their business that they're literally gifting you. I don't even get how people get mad at any type of wedding gift things. She wouldn't let our friend who had breast cancer and was in chemotherapy sit down after walking down the aisle. You're kidding. I would sit on the floor. What? what do you, no, it, it's really not a discussion. It's really not a discussion. If I was going through something as horrible as that, I'm sitting. Shame on you. You should feel ashamed of yourself. Like who raised you? After the ceremony was over, the brides informed us that in order to save money, the wedding party wouldn't be served a meal along with the rest of the guests. She said, you already had the privilege of being in my wedding. What more could you ask for? Uh, food. Let me get it straight. So they do everything that day. They basically act as your like, not your maid or your slave, but like uh, they're at your beck and call all day. They make this entire day for you. They've done all the planning and everything up until this day. They do everything and they don't even get a meal. I'd be Uber Eatsing so fast y'all, or I would leave and go through McDonald's drive-through. Like there's no way I'm not eating. All right guys, well those are some brides who acted like Karens on their wedding day. If you know any bridezillas, tell me in the comments. Maybe I could even use some of these stories in future videos. <gasps> That'd be fun. So if you know Bridezilla or anything like that, you write that stuff down below. I will keep my eyes out. Before I get out of here though, I'm doing today's sassy shout out and it goes to Angry Matter 13 LA. They said, when I was in seventh grade, I told my girlfriend that we were breaking up and she told me, no, we are not breaking up because I said so. I like her demanding that, nope, we're not breaking up. We like each other. We're staying together. <laughs> Did you stay with her? I'm just curious. Like, I guess you had been walking around and like, yeah, we broke up. And then she'd be walking around and be like, no, we didn't. All right, guys, I'm getting out of here. Stay safe out there. Stay classy, stay sassy, and on your friend's wedding days. And if you're a bride, Lord have mercy. Enjoy your day. Don't stress about the little things. Damn. Goodbye. This is brides who acted like Karen's on their wedding day part two. I don't, honestly don't even remember if I've done intros for some of these videos, so. <laughs> My hair's driving me nuts. Then this lighting is as well. It's not like auto-focusing with the lighting, it's kind of being an a-hole. Look at this little <laughs> Focus on my face. Hello? Okay, you can kiss my ass. I think I was up just at like 
1 a.m. and then my body woke me up at 3 a.m. and I thought like it was time to get up because I was so awake and then I look and it was 3.05 and I'm like, oh my God. And then I got up at six and worked out and now I'm working. Have you even subscribed to the channel yet? Don't be a fake fan, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to.